In the wild, battles for dominance are commonplace and rarely fatal. Yet the intensity of the scene witnessed by brothers Justin and Tim Kriesel had them doubting that the underdog in this fight would come out alive. It was late at night. We were in Khalifari um, Park. My brother and I decided to go uh, check out the waterhole just before we went to bed. And just before we were about to leave, we heard this shrieking, like screaming noise. In this footage, we're seeing two brown hyenas interacting in what is commonly known as a neck bite, where they both try to grab each other on the neck and, and there's a tussle that ensues. The really interesting thing about these types of interactions is that they can only take place on the edge of clan territories, where they can happen between males and females. And it seems to be some kind of territorial interaction that's taking place. There was definitely a winner that emerged from the interaction. It seems the winner stays in the area and the loser leaves, and this is probably what happened now. I've only seen brown hyena maybe once or twice. It's a once in a lifetime sighting. You don't see brown hyenas fighting every day. It's rare sightings like this that inspire wildlife enthusiasts to visit these parks in the hope of spotting incredible animal behavior. For local residents like Nico Hodgson from South Africa, spending holidays in the bush is a regular and much loved pastime. My cousin and I chose to visit the Kruger Park one year and went looking for action. We saw many animals, but no action. We decided that we were going to get up really early and look for lion spawn on the dirt roads. That morning we were in luck. We hadn't driven far when we came across fresh tracks in the night before. We were very excited. We followed them. Only two kilometers down the road we found the lions resting. Two lionesses and a male lion. About 20 meters from the side of the road. We stopped immediately and got my camera and I started filming. As we were filming, another male, an older male, comes walking in right towards the vehicle. We knew instantly something was going to happen. We could see on the male's face that he was looking for trouble. He came and stood about two meters away from the car, sniffing the ground where the lionesses had urinated. He lifted his head and opened his jaws wide, flashing his yellow fangs, looking across at the lionesses. Suddenly, the younger male came charging in. They reared up, roaring and biting. That was something to see. My cousin got such a fright, he rolled up the window. 